After being bitten by a radioactive spider, Peter Parker went home and used his superior intellect to invent his very own web shooters. But being able to swing from skyscrapers and ensnare enemies in artificially created webbing is just something in comic books and movies. That's not something you could ever do in real life. Or is it? I'm Rusty Ward and this is Science Friction, where fantasy meets reality and I break down the real science behind comic book and sci-fi superheroes. Pound for pound, spider silk is five times stronger than steel and three times tougher than Kevlar. A thread a millimeter thick would easily support a human being as he swung from building to building through New York City. A thread the width of a pencil could stop an airplane in mid-flight. So why aren't we cultivating spider silk? the same way we do silkworm silk. That's because spiders find other spiders delicious. When they're forced to share the same territory, they become cannibalistic. And it's possible to harvest silk from spiders one at a time, but it's impractical on a mass scale. You have to knock them out and then reel in the silk individually. Plus, it's kind of mean. So scientists have created other ways to produce spider silk by using genetically modified organisms. They've introduced spider silk creating genes into silkworms, goats, and even alfalfa plants. But the most successful of these has been the introduction of these genes into E. coli. The E. coli are genetically modified to produce the proper proteins, which are then processed into dope. Dope is the scientific term for the chemical solution spiders use to make silk, but you might know it better as web fluid. That's right, scientists right now are making vats of web fluid. The mechanical shooter itself is maybe the simplest of the devices needed to assemble a web shooter. We have a number of projectile firing devices that use gunpowder, pneumatics, or electromagnetism to launch an object. Any one of these designs could be used to fire a pellet that's attached to a thread of spider silk. The toughest aspect of real-life web shooters is the step in between the creation of the web fluid and the firing of the webbing, which is replicating what spiders do to their dope in order to transform it into silk. Most spiders have six spinnerets. Each of these spinnerets has about 600 microscopic nozzles. When a spider wants to make silk, it pushes its dope through a funnel duct which extracts water, bathes it in acid, and pushes it through the nozzles. It then comes out as solid filaments. Each of these filaments are then wrapped together to make the larger silk fiber. How good you are at this extrusion procedure determines the quality of the silk. Spiders are really good at this. Humans? Not so much. But we're getting better thanks to biomimetrics. Biomimetrics is the artificial recreation or mimicking of biological mechanisms found in the natural world. Fritz Volrath and David Knight of Oxford University founded Spinox, a company dedicated to replicating the silk spinning process found within spiders. And other companies such as Germany's Amsilk, Japan's Spiber, and Utah's Arachnitec are all confident they'll be producing commercially viable spider silk in the near future. Do you know what this means? Well, number one, if you're gonna start your own spider silk company, you better hurry up before all the spider puns are taken. But number two, as artificial spinnerets continue to improve, we're going to clear our last hurdle to having fully functional web shooters. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future episodes, check out some of the previous ones, and head on over to the Science Friction Facebook page to check out a list of Spidey's top 10 smartest villains.